Now, victims of the contaminated blood scandal, one of the worst treatment disasters in the history of the NHS, have won a ruling allowing them to launch a high court action to seek damages. More than 2,000 people died after they were given blood products from the United States that were infected with hepatitis C and HIV back in the 70s and 80s. County Down man Brian Carberry contracted hepatitis C through contaminated blood and he's with us. Good morning, Brian. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. Were you surprised by the finding? Well, I was relieved with the finding, so I was, because uh, it means there may be a conclusion to the, 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 the scandal, you know. What would damages mean to you, Brian, after everything you've been through? Well, it's not so much the damages, it's more the taking responsibility for everything that's happened. They could, everybody's been saying over the last 30 odd years and all that, there's been a tragedy and all this here, but nobody's actually taken responsibility and turned around and said, yes, we made a mistake. Are you elated at the prospect of being able to pursue this action or deflated in the sense of another battle to be fought? Well, it, no, well, this here has to come to a conclusion this time. This is, this is a judge, this is being brought to the High Court now, so it, it basically a either you win or you lose, and everything, all the evidence and all that there puts us in, as the innocent party, and it forces the government's hand to, they're going to have to finally do something about it instead of just saying they're going to do something. There had been promises in the past from the government, hadn't there? There has been loads and loads of promises and loads and loads of money to say to keep putting in, but nobody ever sees any of it. Brian, tell us your story. How did you contract hepatitis C? I contracted hepatitis C through Factor 8 because I'm a haemophiliac. In the uh, 80s, I was infected with the, um, hepatitis C uh, and... They never told me until I was until ninety one so then that I had it. But uh, uh, it's obvious from all the records and other it was in the early eighties and other that I uh, contracted the hepatitis C, and I kept that hidden from me for the odds on ten years. How did your life change? It was just drained you with all energy, and uh, I was that young at the time and all that. There, you never really know how it affects you and all that. There, but basically, I was not. Functioning the way anybody else normally would be functioning. What what age were you when you had the transfusion? I'd be me uh, in my teens, my mid teens. And what age are you now? I'm fifty now. It's a long time. Yeah, yeah, you know, so, so it's been a long, it's been a long battle, battle and that there sort of thing. But back in ninety one, they say it's something I would live with. It's not something you would die from. But that's all changed now. You know, uh, I don't think they realised exactly how serious it was. Well, Brian, at least there's been a breakthrough. Um, we'll uh, stay in touch with you and uh, follow the, the progress. But yes, for well, now, thank you very much. Yes. Keep well, and uh, thank you for talking to us this morning, Brian Carberry. There.